60 days after sowing, so the crop is uh, moving into heading stage. You can see it's getting quite tall. So uh, what I'm doing here today is I'm going to check whether we need a little bit more nitrogen. So just looking at it, I have the feeling that there are some places where it gets a little bit yellowish and we know that right now we need a lot of nitrogen because the panicles are formed and we want to make sure that there's no limitation of that important nutrient. So the tool that I'm using for this is this uh, leaf color chart which has uh, four different shades of green and uh, it should guide me whether I need an extra little bit of nitrogen or not. So what I'm basically doing is I'm walking through the field and I've been taking about 15-20 readings at different places and whenever I hit the spot I'll basically take a leaf, uh, the uppermost leaf, I'll put it on the chart in the middle of the leaf and I find the green shade that matches the color of the leaf uh, best. So this one here is matching perfectly the shade number three and that basically tells us that we're getting a little bit low already. Yeah? But I have to take of course many readings uh, because there's some variability in the leaf. And uh, I've done this now, so I've just finished this uh, and I've concluded that on average my leaf color chart reading is actually less than 3. Uh, so it's between 2.5 and 3 in many cases. So that's why I've decided to put on an extra amount of about 25 kg of nitrogen as urea at this stage and that should probably complete our whole fertilizer application regime. Other than that, uh, at this uh, stage of the crop, there is really uh, nothing we can do at this point. I saw some weeds coming up here and there. Uh, no insect damage really that I'm worried about right now, so our decision to not uh, spray any insecticide so far seems to work out. And the rest now, we need to wait and hope for more sunshine so that hopefully we'll still get some kind of decent yield.